I guess I first heard about RNA in uh, 1957 at uh, when you were meeting in Cleveland, Ohio. Joining RNA was a, a no-brainer because I was, you know, covering religion and it gave me a chance to meet the, you know, the men and women uh, who were covering the field and I loved it from the beginning. Well, we grew up in the church and uh, a very strict conservative Protestant uh, group, but R RNS and uh, RNA gave me the chance to expand my vision about the field of religion. Well, uh, even at that first meeting, I was so interested to see that one of our keynote speakers in uh, 1957 was uh, Archbishop Kroll. I forget his first name now, but he was the Cardinal Archbishop of, uh, uh, I think, Detroit, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so RNA, you know, provided a platform for people I would have never otherwise met. Yeah, I mean, uh, journalists are, uh, they're a special breed. And, I mean, we have great memories. One of my favorite, when I was in seminary, I was called out to uh, help in the press room of the National Council of Churches in St. Louis. On that occasion, uh, and these were all men in this case, after a hard day's work in the newsroom, the boys decided that they needed some potent potables. So they uh, went out. But before they left uh, the auditorium, they saw this, have you heard this story? Uh, they saw this poor little calf from the Heifer Project penned up, and one of them thought, no, we gotta take him out and get, let him run around. So he pranced around a while, and when they came back from their odyssey, uh, they thought better of the idea put the uh, calf back in the pen. And then the next morning when they were all headed back to the press room, they were laughing themselves silly as the janitor was scratching his head and wondering how the, the uh, calf had left his mark outside uh, the pen during the night.